speaking to Liberty News in an interview, Aminu Kurupi said Mamandara opened troubles for medical check with his long-time doctor's base in United Kingdom. It described the report of serious illness as fake news. Yesterday, yeah, good, yeah. he was at the funeral of a uh, prayer of uh, late uh, Alaju Ajamaida of blessed memory. Mm. Everybody saw him. He attends a Zur prayer. That is public. In his house, we are there together with him. After 10, I left his house 10 p.m. and today in the morning, 9 a.m., I was in his house. I escorted him airport. What next? And I assured you, this is the phone he called me. I think this is the line he calls me today. Let me show you. Amini Balele Kurupitna Arya also said, Mrs. Mamandara is being targeted by a section of the media for freely expressing his opinion regarding the 2023 election. Which he said there is nothing wrong in advising Nigerians that should go for competence, not necessarily where ones come from. Have you allowed one election in my following station? I'm from Kurbi. Bashir Tofa is from Kano. Have you allowed one in Kano? Not only in Kano. In even the following station of Bashir Tofa. What are you going to say? She who, during his primary, she won in Lagos. Against Latif Jakandi. Let's show Musa Adwa. He won in Oyo. He won in Rivers. We have Sajan Ausu. Those days. We have Lemid Adedim. Those days in Oyo. We have Dafo Surumi. Yomi Edu. He added that some people are trying to bring the government down by advocating for a revolution where on the ballot during the last election they could not win their state local government award in the polling units so, somebody who lose election mm -hmm. in nigeria somebody who lose election in his state somebody who lose election in his local government somebody who lose election in his polling boots polling station he cannot win and he will come back and do revolution too. who do you think is going to follow him those who are sponsoring him, they are deceiving themselves, they are wasting their resources and time. From Abuja, Hassan Umar Farouk, Liberty News.